How about if you're given nine fiftieths of eighty nine? I'm sorry, eight thousand nine hundred, right? Now, in order to solve this expression, go ahead and convert the of into mathematical terms, right? So it's nine fiftieths times eight thousand nine hundred, and we can just rep represent that whole number eight thousand nine hundred as a whole number. So just divide it by one. Go ahead and multiply your numerator times your numerator. And your denominator times your denominator. Alright, so go ahead and simplify. What goes into your numerator and your denominator, or what are common factors? Well, there's 10 for 1, right? That'll give you what? Let's see. Uh, uh, higher would be, let's see. Uh, 10 goes into both, so 5. Divide by 10 on the bottom, 50 divided by 10 is 5. 8,900 divided by 10 is 8,890, 8, right? What else goes into both of them? Um, 5, right? So go ahead and divide by 5. 5 divided by 1 is 1. Uh, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 890 divided by 5 is... 5 goes into 8 once. 8 minus 5 is 3. Carry down 9. 5 into 39 is going to be 7. 7 times 5 is 35. 9 minus 5 is 4, bring down to 0, 5 into 40 is 8. Subtract by 40, 0. So, this is 178. So, 9 times 178 over 1 times 1. Let me just write that. So, 9 times 178. 1 times 1. Let's go ahead and find that. 178 times 9. 8 times 9 is 72. Um, 7 on top, 7 times 9 is 63, plus 7 is 70, 1 times 9 is 9, plus 7 is 16, so it's going to be 1,602 divided by 1 is 1,602. That will be your final product.